Hey guys, so let's animate your digital postcard. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to transform your design into a dynamic GIF that's perfect for newsletters. And these animations will grab attention and leave a lasting impression. Let's dive in. So here in Photoshop, we have the postcard we created in the previous video. Before we import it into Adobe Express, I need to adjust a few layers since some like the threshold layer won't translate properly. Let's just take care of those adjustments before we export our file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the welcome postcard text. This is where we created that fun little ink bleed. I'm going to go ahead and right click it and we're going to go ahead and click on a rasterize layer. And the next thing we're going to do is because Adobe Express is not going to recognize a threshold layer, we're going to go ahead and flatten that layer. So I'm going to go ahead and hide all of my other layers by clicking on the little eyeballs here. We'll turn off this bottom layer. I'm going to bring this rectangle up. And then we will leave that white background and then we're going to cl right click on the group and then we'll select merge visible and then we will turn on our layers again. Let's review all of our layers. So it looks like that. That looks great. Now the other thing is Express is not going to recognize this color fill layer as well. I would have to make some adjustments in Express, but I'm just gonna fix it here in Photoshop. And instead of adding a color fill to all of the layers below, what I'm just gonna do is I'll go to each of those layers and add the color myself. So we'll grab this color here and we'll copy it. And then we'll go to all of the areas that need that color. The first one that needs to have it is obviously these lines here. So let's actually group these lines. Let's merge them. We'll merge the group. And then we will click on blending options color overlay and then make sure it's the pink that we have here and we'll click on OK. I'm going to hide this pink just to make sure everything's working. And then we also have all of our text. We want all of our text to be the color pink. So we'll go ahead and select the text. We'll go to our character panel and we'll select the color and we'll place that pink and click on OK. And then we need to change our rectangle to a pink. So clicking on the rectangle, selecting A on my keyboard. We will select the stroke and make sure that it's pink as well. And then we need our logo to be pink as well. So we'll right click on it. We'll click on the blending options and we'll select color overlay and make sure it's pink as well. And the last thing is this text back here. I'm actually going to go in with the magic wand tool and we're going to select our text here. And then with the paint bucket, we will fill it in with the pink and then control D on your keyboard to deselect. So a lot of my layers have blending effects and like I said, Express might not recognize certain settings or certain layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert these into smart objects. So I'll go ahead and click on convert to smart object for my logo. Same thing for this group. And I think that's it. Now we'll go ahead and save our PSD file and I'm going to save it as version three just to make sure. Now we have Adobe Express opened. We'll click on start from your content here and then we will upload our file. So we'll go ahead and find our postcard version three file. Now we have two options. We can place PSD as a linked image. So essentially I can place it in here in my Photoshop file and whatever adjustments I make in Photoshop, it'll live update in Express. We also have convert PSD to an Adobe Express file. I'm going to do this because I don't plan on making changes in Photoshop. So go ahead and click on convert to PSD. Now we'll click on open and Express will open up our Photoshop file. And now we can start animating our postcard. So we have our layers here and you can see, like I said, sometimes the layers in Photoshop are not translated correctly in Express, like our top layer. Well, I'm just going to go to the blend mode and we will click on multiply. So now it should work. Now we can start animating our design. So let's start off with this fun little text, our little message. We can go to the left side of our screen, click on animation and Express comes with all of these presets that you can just select for certain parts of your design to animate, which is really awesome. We don't have to do a bunch of frame by frame animations. Express has everything ready for you to use, which is amazing. We also have this new button at the top that says animate all, animate your entire design in one click. I can click on animate all and click on bloom and let's see what happens. And it animates like that. So we could do it that way too, in case you just want to be really quick and animate really fast. I'm going to click on undo. I'm not going to animate it all. I want each little section of my design to animate differently. So I'll select my welcome family and we'll add animation and maybe we'll bungee down. And then our text here, let's add another animation. Maybe we will fade in, pop. There's so many different options, shrink, 
tumble, kind of like the tumble here, or a rise, we'll do a rise. And then let's continue, maybe our little squiggly lines here, maybe they'll slide in. Our text, again, I'm just selecting different ones I like, maybe a fade. So I like the fade for that one. And then for this one, a creative community since 2018. Maybe we can do a spin, a drop, a slide. So many different options here. Ooh, I kind of like the typewriter. That one's pretty cool. Place stamp here. Again, just going to the animation presets and selecting some. We'll do a drop. And then we have our square. We'll add another one. Maybe a fade into it. Our main text, the welcome postcard text. Let's see what we want to do for that. Maybe drift in. I think I like the drift in here. And then lastly, our logo, if I could find it, there it is. Animation, maybe we'll make it pop. Now to see our entire animation, we just click on play and there's our animation. Looks really cool, I love the way it turned out. Now I wanna get it ready for my newsletter, so I'll go ahead and click on download. We'll select MP4 custom, which is the original size, and we'll click on download. So here is our animated postcard. There it is. Now, if I want to add it to my newsletter, I have to actually export a GIF. Now, with Express, I can't export a GIF here, but what I can do is if I go back to the home page on Adobe Express, now that I'm on the home page in Express, I can actually go to video. Let's select the video panel, and then we'll go to quick actions down here, and we can select convert to GIF. Now, I'll just upload my MP4 and Adobe Express will actually convert it to a GIF for me. So I can click on play just to see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and click on large. We'll click on download. And then we have our GIF, let's check it out. There's our GIF ready for our newsletter. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it in my newsletter just to show you guys how it looks. And there's our preview for our email. I haven't written the email just yet, but I'm gonna get ready to send to link to this video. And that's it, give yourself a round of applause because your postcard is ready to be sent to your newsletter, social media, or wherever you wanna grab some attention. So this series has come to an end. I hope the series has inspired you to elevate your designs or create something special for your small business. If you'd like to learn more or see what I'm working on next, you can find me on social media at Threeology. But thank you guys for joining me on this series. I had so much fun creating it and I'll see you guys next time.